All right, let's go with a new Cardboard of the Rings deck spotlight. I'm Chad, and this is a deck I built called Stand and Fight the Haradway. A link to this deck can be found in the description of this video. This is a Harad deck that does not use Steward of Gondor. It uses Kael, Arwen, and Spirit Glorfindel. The gimmick of this deck is to use Kael's ability, action, discard a Harad ally card from your hand to ready a Harad character in play, limit once per phase, and the Spirit event, Stand and Fight. It costs X. Choose an ally with a printed cost of X in any player's discard pile. Put that ally into play under your control. It can belong to any sphere. What you do is you discard a Harad ally using either Kael or Arwen's abilities, and then you stand and fight to play it. Because Arwen can discard a card to gain a resource, you can generate up to six spirit resources by round two, allowing you to play any Harad ally from the discard pile, assuming you have stand and fight. Let's talk about turn one. I have found when I build a deck, I want to have a plan for turn one that involves questing and defense. Questing, you can send all three heroes for a willpower total of eight. Then, if you have to do a defense, discard a Harad ally to ready Kael, and he'll defend for you. Now you're going into turn two with a lot of resources, possibly a Harad ally in your discard pile, and most likely one in your hand. Round two, you should be able to play one of those big Harad allies, and then this deck is really off to the races. All right, the big three, Furial, Jubair, Yazan. If you get those three allies into play, your Harad deck has worked. This deck, in addition to the stand and fight, has a couple other ways to get them into play. You can give Kael Elf Friend, and now Arwen passes her resources to him. He has a second ability, Resources from Kael's resource pool can be used to pay for Harad allies of any sphere. By passing the resources to him, he can pay for Furial or Yazan, or even help pay for Jubair with his own resources. Speaking of your hand, in your opening hand, you want to see the Elf Lights. Light of Valinor and Elven Light. Elven Light, of course, is the card that pairs well with Arwen's ability, discarding it to gain a resource, spending a spirit resource to pull it back into your hand, plus another card, and Light of Valinor allows Glorfindel to quest without exhausting. Other cards to see in your opening hand are Stand and Fight and one of the big three Harad allies. There's a third way to possibly generate resources to pay for all these Harad allies. The Ziggy Stargazer way. Use Stargazer to look at the top five cards of your deck, rearrange them, and then discard two with Ziggy and put those resources on Kael. This deck really is easy to pilot once you get rolling. You're either going to be using Stand and Fight, or Ziggy, or a combination of the two to generate lots of resources, getting all three big Harad allies into play, plus the other minor Harad allies. For questing, you got Gladriel's Handmaiden. She'll quest for two and also reduce your threat. Elrond's Council will give you a willpower boost, but more importantly, reduce your threat. Kiel's Headdress gives you the amazing ability to give all of your Harad characters plus one willpower. Plus, a refresh action. Do not forget this, it's easy to forget. Exhaust the headdress to shuffle the topmost Harad ally in your discard pile into your deck. So even if you've already played your stand in fights, you can still get Harad allies back into your hand to pay for them the normal way. I really don't have much more to say about this deck. I'll just go through some of the extra cards. Elven Jeweler is one copy. Gives you a chance to discard some Elven Lights to play them or a Harad ally. Dunedain Remedy is your healing. Desperate Defense is great with Jubair for handling a big attack. And of course, it's a spirit deck, so there is three copies of A Test of Will. I hope you give this deck a shot. I've played it quite a few times. I haven't lost with it yet. I have found that it's quick start with the three powerful heroes and being able to get at least one hero level ally into play by turn two has made this a very fantastic deck. And I look forward to hearing how your playthroughs go. Thank you for listening and watching. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.